seed germination you may wonder how seeds grow seeds may look dead to you but they are not seeds grow into new plants there is a tiny plant inside the seed that starts to grow when the conditions conditions means the things that affect how something happens so when the conditions are right the seed starts to grow the seed also has a food store so when a seed starts to grow we say it germinates this process is called germination the seed uses its food store to give it the energy to grow before the seed can start to grow it needs water germination starts when the seed takes in or absorbs the water the seed shrivels and becomes small after germination here are the stages in germination of a bean seed the seed of a bean starts to absorb the water and it starts swelling the seed coat splits the first root starts to grow from the seed the roots grow down into the soil the shoot above the ground the first shoot starts to grow the first leaf starts to grow and the side roots start to grow germination for years until the conditions become suitable the oldest seed known to germinate was a 1300 year old seed from a lotus flower found at the bottom of a lake in china what do seeds need for germination seeds germinate when they have right conditions can seeds germinate without water or light will seed germinate if it's very hot or very cold pollinators and pesticides honey bees are important pollinators the bees in the picture are pollinating onion flowers bees also pollinate the flowers of many other food plants such as apples potatoes and beans in fact 80% of the plants we eat are pollinated by bees often farmers and gardeners like pollinators but they don't like insects snails worms and other pests that may eat their plants they often use chemicals called pesticides to get rid of the pests why are pesticides a problem the pesticides kill the pests but they also harm pollinators pesticides that are sprayed onto the plants often cover the flowers when bees visit the flowers to look for nectar and pollen they take in the pesticides along with their food pesticides on the seeds can also harm the bees when the seed grows the pesticide spreads to the whole plant including the pollen and the nectar some pesticides kill the bees other pesticides make it hard for the bees to fly and to find their hive or to find other flowers to feed on pesticides can also make the bees have fewer young ones let's talk about some ways we can help the pollinators we should try not to use pesticides in and around our home and encourage other people to do the same people should use pesticide only when they are needed for example if their plants are badly attacked by a pest next they should not use them when the plants are flowering some pesticides are sprinkled onto the plants or soil as a powder these pesticides in the form of powder seem to be more harmful than liquid spray pesticides so people should try not to use them questions bees are pollinators name other two pollinators you know of answer is birds and butterflies
Why are pollinators important? Pollinators are very important because they facilitate the reproduction of over 85% of the world's flowering plants. What is a pesticide? Pesticides are substances used to control pests. Is it good to use pesticide? Say why or why not? When used properly, pesticides can protect your plants or home from damage. However, when the label instructions are not followed correctly, plant injury may occur. Pests may also not be controlled, health may be impaired, and pesticides may contribute to soil, air, or water pollution. Why is it a problem if bees die or have fewer young? Without bees, the availability and diversity of fresh produce would decline substantially and human nutrition would suffer. Pesticides harm pollinators. How else do you think the pesticides can affect the environment? Pesticides can have a negative effect on the environment, including soil pollution. Pesticides can contaminate the soil, affecting its quality and fertility. Water pollution Runoff from the fields treated with pesticides can enter water bodies, harming the aquatic ecosystem. Air pollution Pesticides can evaporate and contribute to air pollution. Damage to non-target organisms. The pesticides can harm the plants, birds, wildlife, fish and crops. What do you think will happen to humans if there were no pollinators? Without bees that are pollinators, the availability and diversity of fresh produce would decline substantially and it would affect the human nutrition. Why should people not use pesticides when plants are flowering? When plants are flowering, it's crucial to avoid using pesticides to protect the pollinators. Insecticides sprayed onto the open flowers can be highly toxic to the bees. Even if applied early in the morning or late at night when bees are not present. Some people use other substances to get rid of pests. Think of, find out about other ways to keep the pests away without using pesticides. The answer is insecticides. Why bees and other pollinators are important? They provide one of the most recognizable ecosystem services, that is pollination, which is what makes food production possible. Why pesticides are harmful to pollinators? Many pesticides, including insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides, harm pollinators and other beneficial insects. Their effects include removing important floral resources, causing subtle yet concerning effects on reproduction, navigation and memory, and high-profile incidents when pesticides kill bees. How to use pesticides safely? Open, pour, and mix pesticides in a well-ventilated area free from obstructions and where bystanders cannot be contaminated. Pour or decan from the container carefully to avoid splashing and spurting. Never use your mouth to siphon liquids or to blow out an obstructed spray nozzle. Clean up any spills promptly.